So you guys go to strip clubs together? We do, relatively often. How long have you guys been together? Five years? Yes. Yeah, almost, almost five years, yeah. So we just got married this Cinco year. Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. awkwardly ask you some questions. Yeah. <laughs> what is it like to watch Allison get a dance man? I mean, it's pretty hot for me. I've literally seen her glasses steam up when she wears glasses and gets a <laughs> dance before, like. <laughs> it's so dorky and embarrassing. It's very endearing and kind of hot. And how did you guys start going to strip clubs together? It was my idea. Um, we had been dating for a few weeks, and I wanted something fun for us to do, and I kind of wanted to break him out of his shell a little bit. So before you guys met, what was your perception of strip clubs? Ungodly? No. <laughs> uh, I grew up in a more rural, conservative part of the country, and so I didn't really go to clubs growing up or even really in college much. It was something shameful, I guess, uh, was like the vibe that was kind of attached to the dancers, the establishments, the people who went there. And have you changed your opinion? Yes. Yeah, I only flogged myself a little after we go to the <laughs> clubs. Do you think that going to strip clubs together has been additive to your relationship and to your sex life? Definitely to our sex life, probably our relationship too. We're not pushing boundaries of like non-monogamy, but we both are like very transparent with each other about our attraction to other people or, or our sexuality. And so it's really safe place for us to play and figure that out with each other. That makes sense. For me, I love seeing somebody else appreciate him, and it kind of validates how hot I think he is. And then it reinforces the trust that we have with each other, that we're able to kind of exercise in that environment without it becoming a problem, and I think that makes me love him more. That makes sense to me, right? Where you're saying, you know, we want to bring in other people's sexual energy, but where there's like really strict boundaries, like no one's going to go home with anyone. Exactly. We're not looking for like the girlfriend experience, and we're, lo we're looking for something very, very clear cut. And that's, like you said, sexual energy to jive with ours without having to worry about any strings attached. So after you get a dance, what happens when you guys go home? We, we read a book fuck. and go to oh. <laughs> So it seems that strip clubs have been normalized to the point that now all types of people can enjoy the erotic experiences they provide. With all this normalizing going on, do strippers now have the perfect gig? 